Hey, what's up you guys? Fernanda here. Um, I'm sorry my face looks like this. When I got home from school, I took all my makeup off, so. And then I decided to film this video. And my hair is different. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but it's half pink and half black. I don't think I filmed a video, but Chris's is half black and half blonde. But I had purple in my hair, and so it turned pink. And I was going to tell you guys real quick, because I've heard this on like whole bunch of channels recently, that if you tell people to subscribe in the beginning of the video, then it's more likely for them to subscribe. So you totally hit that subscribe button, and you totally hit the bell notification, because I don't upload very often. I try to, but I work a lot, and now I go to school, so I don't really have that much time to upload videos all the time. So, um, yeah, this video is going to be about my tattoos. Um, soon we're, Chris is going to do his, but he's working on a tattoo right now, or gonna start working on a tattoo, we're just waiting for a tattoo stencil paper, and then he's gonna do his tattoo, and then he's gonna show a tattoo video. He has way more tattoos than me. I only have eight. I don't know how many tattoos he has, but yeah, let's get into that. Another disclaimer before I show you guys my tattoos, I do not shave my legs, like at all, so, and I'm wearing like Birkenstocks, and I don't have my toes toenails painted or I'm wearing socks but I don't think it's that bad my feet aren't gross or anything but yeah um just wanted to say that ahead of time so people aren't like that doesn't look good <laughs> but yeah um okay so this was my very first tattoo um if you didn't know like I'm kind of super hippie I pulled a little peace signs and other hippie things I want a Volkswagen bus for sure one day but yeah that was my first tattoo um but yeah, this, I'll show you guys my second one that I got, which was, oops, I can't see it on my wrist. Uh, that's what happens when you try. Um, it's not good. <laughs> this is like the second ever tattoo Chris did, and it did not turn out like 100% good. I need to get it fixed a little bit. I just haven't had time to really get it fixed up. But yeah, that was my second one. My third one is on my back, so I'm gonna have to wait to for Chris to film that. But yeah, I got this one was my second one, and then my third one, or my third one is on my back, and then my let's see if I can get it all the way in. And this one was my fourth one. If I can get it to focus good, it's a, I love this tattoo. This is like one of my favorites that I have. It turned out like amazing and I freaking love it with all my heart like I love this tattoo I will explain like my tat like how much it hurt and everything in a minute like after I show you guys a mosquito on me and then my knee tattoos let's see if it'll focus okay cool um it says this is how you're supposed to read it but you can read it anyway it says please stay and this is go away or you can read it please go stay away um it's mostly kind of how I am towards people. Um, I am very like, I want to say bipolar in nature kind of thing, where I really want people to stay with me, but then there's points of time where I don't want to be with them at all, and I just want them to leave me the fuck alone and just like never come near me ever again kind of thing, if that like makes sense. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I really like these tattoos. It's just, they have a lot of meaning to me. And I've never seen anyone else do like double knee tattoos. Like if you have, like that'd be cool to see. Cause I haven't seen, like I when I looked it up, I didn't see anyone else that had me. So yeah, double word knee tattoos. I'm gonna get my kneecaps done at some point. But yeah, got mosquitoes like all over me. <laughs> um, so I don't go outside. <laughs> okay, but um, Okay, let's talk about this one. This tattoo means uh, make your own reality, I'm pretty sure, and it's like a Viking thing. I wanna have a lot of symbol symbols on me, mostly because I'm a very, like, I wanted my tattoos to really, like, truly mean something. This tattoo is the female symbol for power, if you guys know who's, I think I'm probably going to say this wrong, even though I listen to her music. Zelita, she wears a necklace that has this symbol on her, on it. And I love her music. I love her, like, 
I don't know, the way she like puts everything in her music, like everything. And I really wanted some kind of powerful, very powerful female symbol, even though I don't 100% agree with like the female gender, I guess, but I still wanted something to kind of symbolize that. And so I got this. And then, oh, on the pain scale, this one didn't hurt except for like this cross, like the, this one right here that was on like the side of my arm. Um, this one hurts so fucking bad. Um, the one on my ankle kind of hurt, but not much because it is so small. My knees, uh, these top ones didn't hurt like at all. Like they barely, 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 barely hurt. Um, this A was probably the worst. And I'm just telling you guys ahead of the time, if you decide to get tattoos on your knees or like below, like right here, um, you will fucking move and it will, the, the tattoo artist will probably stab you in the leg so many fucking times. That's what Chris did and it hurt so bad. And this A, since it is a little bit longer, um, every time I would bend or unbend my knee, it would hurt so bad that I would legitly almost cry and I have to walk and like stand a lot at my jobs. And so it was probably the worst, but yeah. So those are my tattoos so far. I'll show you guys my back one. Um, I'll just explain to you my back tattoo. Um, it didn't hurt that bad. It actually, back tattoo, which I can't show you, but I'm gonna get Chris to do it in a sec. Um, it didn't hurt that bad. It wasn't like 100% horrible. Actually, most of the time I didn't really feel it unless it kind of was like more on my shoulder. It kind of hurt, but other than that, it like felt fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go have Chris show you guys that and then that'll be like the end of my tattoos. And I think I cracked my screen earlier <laughs> when I dropped it. But yeah, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the balloon I was, or the tattoo I was talking about on my back. It is a yellow balloon. Well, it's not yellow yet, but we're gonna do yellow soon. We just haven't done color yet. We probably need to get better color ink. Oh, you know what I forgot? My hip tattoo. I legitly forgot about it. But uh, this one, it's he's gonna be a yellow balloon. Um, one of my favorite songs. He probably still needs to be gone over again. Yeah, he fade a lot. Back tattoos, I learned that since you're laying on your back, it doesn't have enough time for the ink to really sink in, I guess, because it did peel super quickly for me personally. So, I don't know. But yeah. Um, and then I forgot about this guy. I should probably go this way. Or which way should I go? I don't know. Then there's this guy. Uh, little bunny, legend, geometric bunny. Super cute. Uh, yeah. That's like all my tattoos. That one kind of hurt a lot. Not really, like, it did, but it didn't. It was probably like a five. Christopher, I thought you were gonna show your tattoos. Sneak peek. I have so many, there's mosquitoes so bad right here. But yeah, that's the end of it. I will do an official goodbye over there, but yeah. Okay, well that was the video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, so hit the subscribe button. You don't fucking have to, because I'm not your mom and can't make you do anything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that was my video. I love you guys. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope you guys have an amazing everyday. Hope everything in life is going awesome. Bye, guys.